The Call of Duty Esports World Cup starts in just under two days, and here's everything you need to know before we head into the event. So kicking it off with the most important part, when does it actually start? The first match, this is in Central Time, by the way. I live in Texas, so this is all in Central Time. I'll try to do some conversions for you, but depending on where you live, you might have to convert it yourself. The first match for me starts August 15th, which is Thursday at 7 a.m. So this is 8 a.m. or Eastern or 5 a.m. on Pacific. And in case you're wondering, the first match is Optic Gaming versus Omit Brooklyn. And then below my webcam, as you can see, this is the schedule right now. So the first two days are going to be group stage. There's going to be two matches per time slot. So two different streams. So you can pick and choose what you want to watch or you can pull them both up. So we'll have Legion versus Ravens and then Optic versus Omit Brooklyn. You can see each spot here. I won't read every single team, but there's going to be a total of 12 matches on day number one, as you can see here, starting from 7 a.m. on the 15th and the last match starting at 14.30, a.k.a. 2.30. And then the same thing will happen on the 16th. And then following that, we will go into our quarterfinals and then our semifinals and grand finals. But you might be wondering, what is the format, right? So this format is going to be four groups of four teams. It's a best of five GSL format, which I'll show you in a second the top two advancing of each group, and then it's a best of five single elim in the playoffs and a best of seven grand final. So it is not a double elim bracket. It's a single elim bracket. Once you make that out of group stage, if you lose once, you're completely out. But what is a GSL format? For those that don't know, as you can see here, let me zoom in real quick. This is what a GSL format is. So essentially, best way to look at it, it's literally a double elimination bracket with only four teams. You're gonna have four teams, right? The winner of the first two games will play each other. The losers will play each other. The loser of the first two games are eliminated. The winner of the first two games goes up, right? And then you have a tiebreaker at the end, both teams which are one and one. The winner of this final game will move up. So essentially the team that goes two and oh will advance and the team that goes two and one will advance. So it's not your traditional group stage where you've seen like the World Cup for soccer where everyone plays each other once. It's actually just going to be straight up, kind of like its own little mini double elimination bracket. For those wondering, if you don't already know, here are your groups. Group A is Omit, Optic, Carolina Ravens, and Las Vegas Legion. Group B is the Vancouver Surge, recently rebranded, obviously. Cloud9, which is New York Subliners. G2, which is Minnesota Rocker. And then Gentle Mates, which is Bance's team. Group C is the Stallions, aka Phase Black. Boston Breach, who, I mean, who really knows what's going on with them, right? Team Heretics, which is Miami Heretics, and the Toronto Ultra. Then Group D is 100T, aka LA Thieves, Lore, Team Falcons, and Atlanta Face. And if you want to see schedules and stuff like that, you can come on this website, you can click on whatever group it is you're looking for, and you can kind of see their schedules. Here is all the teams attending, for those curious, as you can see all their logos right now. And this is going to be available to watch on all different platforms. You can watch this on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. I'm going to be watch farting this on my YouTube and Twitch, so if you're watching this video, make sure you're subbed, and come check out the watch party. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be two games to watch per time slot, like I said. So we're kind of going to get to pick and choose what games we want to watch, right? We can't obviously watch both these games at once. We'll likely watch every Optic game because most of the community is Optic fans. And we're definitely going to watch every 100T game because I am a 100T fan. So if you want to watch the 100 Thieves boys, definitely come to my watch parties. And then also here are the prize breakdown. It is a $1.8 million prize, as you can see here on the side. First place is going to come away with $600,000, 320 for third and 160 for third slash fourth. And all the way down to the last place team is actually going to still walk away with $20,000. So the players will still get a little bit of cash. The MVP is going to get a $50,000 re reward themselves, which is pretty cool. And I don't know what this whole SND ace thing is here. This is on Liquidpedia. I don't know if they're going to give money if someone gets like an ace and SND, but that would be pretty cool. And then, of course, once we get out of the group stages, there will be a bracket play. And as you can see here on the side of the screen, this is the bracket so the winner of Group A plays the second place of Group B, so on and so forth. I'm not going to read every single one, but you can pause and look at this, or I can even link this down below in the description if you want to click through this yourself. So definitely interesting. Optic and Phase would end up on the same side of the bracket. And teams like Cloud9 and Toronto Ultra would also end up on the same side of the bracket. So definitely going to be interesting to see kind of who comes out of this, especially if one of these, you know, lower end teams, one of these challengers teams can cause an upset. That would be really entertaining. Yeah, I think that's everything you need to know for the Esports World Cup, which is starting in under two days in like a day and a half by the time you watch this video, most likely, if not less than that. Like I said, I'll be watch partying here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. All the links are down in the description. And hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys there. It's going to be a fun, long weekend of COD, right? A lot of matches, especially being as they're also starting really early, um, at least for us here in North America. So this is going to be a lot of fun, though. I'm really excited to watch our last event of Modern Warfare 3. And then we head straight into Black Ops 6. So you want to stay up to date with the CDL, with COD in general, definitely make sure you sub to the channel. We're so close to 5K subs. I appreciate your support, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys in the watch party.